Hi, thanks for stopping by. Before we get into what I got for my birthday, let me reintroduce myself and my co-star. My name is Lisa and basically the title is Lisa Loves Bags because I do. And my co-star is my absolute love sponge. His name is Renji and give me one second and I'll grab him for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Renji Abarai. He is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel and he is seven months old so we think he's about full grown and yes thank you he is the sweetest boy ever and i'm gonna put him down because if not he won't stop he won't stop the licking but let me turn him so you can see his cute little face again he is just such a joy he is our first puppy and he is just awesome he is sweet and loving and naughty and wants to bite everything and all of the puppy things. So I'm going to put him down so I can get to my birthday gifts without him um, helping me. That's the nice way of putting it, is helpful. Okay, hang on. So first things first, I want to thank my friend Tanya. She is bits and bags. I'm sure if you're watching me, you watch her because she's awesome. But she's my Australian friend and she hooked me up with the Louis Vuitton essential poncho I love it I am so in love with it thank you so much Tanya I'm gonna post a picture of it so that you can see it but I don't want to open it all the way because Renji clearly cannot be trusted with anything right now I think he's having a moment so take a peek and it comes with a beautiful pendant and it's just amazing the entire US was sold out and I was so disappointed that I missed it and it's at my own fault because I mentioned it to my essay and she was like oh yeah I can order it for you just let me know and then I didn't and it was gone and <sighs> my girl to the rescue thank you Tanya this is gonna be awesome and it's funny because it doesn't normally come in a, um, a garment bag it normally comes in a box but I asked her to get me the garment bag instead because that's something that I will just hang in my closet because it's only cool-ish enough to wear it here a few times a year and if I travel I will flex it on a plane or wherever I go or whatever but this is my amazing gift and I just love it thank you Tanya whenever you need that kidney you call me first because you got it so that's my awesome birthday gift my first part okay you know that you are blessed when you get a birthday gift and you have no idea who it's from so let me share these adorable gifts from you with you that I got and I still don't know who sent them to me I'm gonna have to investigate but <laughs> it is a Scorpio candle and it came through the mail from the company so it didn't have a card or a return address or anything like that so I have no idea who sent it to me but I do appreciate whoever it was and I will hopefully find out today or once you guys all see this video and the other one is a happy birthday candle it's so nice oh my gosh so definitely awesome candles mmm delicious if you can't see down it's because I'm letting Renji sniff it because if not I'll be here for five more hours Ooh, that Scorpio smells like a Scorpio mmm I like it and thank you to whoever sent these to me so awesome thank you now the next one came in this box and I took the label off because you know although I highly doubt someone's gonna bother to come to Hawaii to see whatever I have going on you never know oh <laughs> I know what this is this is something I ordered for myself I really 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 wanted the Virgil Abloh book so I pre-ordered it from the from the um, the publisher and 
This one came really well, but hang on for one second. I was also lucky enough to get this one. And my sweet Aussie girl, Tanya, hooked me up with this one. So this one is the opposite of the Virgil Blue. And I just felt like, you know what? I wanted it. Let me just get it. And then also from the manufacturer, I got the Louis Vuitton Manufacturer's Book. I will say this. Whoever is in their company needs to learn the phrase bubble wrap, extra tape. I'm not sure if it was from, I think it was a double fault. I feel like it was the manufacturer because they didn't put any bubble wrap around it. And you see how this is how it came all kind of crappy and already pre-opened. And then it was also FedEx who beat it to death. So it was a double whammy and I was a little underwhelmed with the presentation, but it's still in good condition and I'm not returning it and it, I'm still happy with it. So there we go. And that's the other thing. Now, if you didn't notice, I am rocking, I will get close for one second with you. I am rocking the Hermes Ear Huff, which I got at Almoana and that was a pickup. I actually got one for a really good friend of mine as well. And I wanted it. So I figured, you know, maybe she would want one too for her birthday. And I didn't get the best service there. I knew I should have went to go see Rico and Waikiki, but ugh, I was lazy. And I went to Ala Moana and the service was terrible. And lesson learned, it is what it is. So that's that. And Halloween nails. I will here. Let me get a little close on them for you. Very cute. I saw the picture on Instagram. Someone else had it, and then I said, asked my nail girl if she could copy it, and of course she can. And what else have I gotten since I've talked to you guys? Oh, you know how I normally wear lots of Hawaiian jewelry, and I normally do because that's just how I roll. Or I wear those Tiffany and Co. heart bracelets because they're sentimental to me. But now I'd like for you to see this bracelet. I received this from a customer and I won't say her name because I didn't ask. And she just happened to be buying something from me and I was like, oh yeah, blah, 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 just chit chat, chit chat. And I go, oh, that's such a nice bracelet. And when I first glanced at it, I thought it was a Mahjong bracelet. And she looked at me and she said, oh no, it's a Saint Somebody's bracelet. And I said, oh, it's really pretty. And so she says, oh, try it on. And I tried it on. I said, oh, it fits perfectly. And she goes, it was meant for you. Isn't that sweet? Isn't that just the sweetest thing? I was just like, wow. I was totally blown away by it. And I've worn it almost every day since I've gotten it. And I've had it on, hmm, I think I've had it about a week now. And it's, I just thought it was super cool and super sweet how I got it. So you know, of course I wasn't expecting her to give it to me. I was just like mentioning how cute I thought it was. And there you go. And this wasn't part of my birthday either, but a few weeks ago, I can't, <laughs> my times are all messed up because I'm on vacation. But a few weeks ago, Mel from Mel and Melbourne, Rochelle, the Ellis, and Tarina, the, I guess, I guess I heard them. The Monticure, Monte Pleasure, Tarina, the Mountain of Pleasure, and I had lunch and we had a good time and we did a little shopping and Mel had on this bag and I was like, that bag is cute as hell. And she was like, oh yeah, I got it at Saint Laurent. I put an organizer in it and she used it as a crossbody. So we go to Saint Laurent and of course my regular girl wasn't there and the girl there was like, oh yeah, if we can get it from the mainland, we'll call you. And I was like, oh, okay, great. And I'm expecting her to call me in like a day or two. And that's why she's not my regular girl because she didn't follow up with me, but my regular girl did. And then there's this. I have to keep my eye on Captain Bitey over there because if not, he'll chew something up, which I don't even care. Well, I do care. He has a Gucci box that he's been chewing on for I would say the five months that we've had them. And I'm just like, dude, you already nicked the box. You can just, whatever, just finish it off. I don't care. But 
Saint Laurent. I'm sorry, I'm nervous because I haven't done a video in quite some time. So I know I sound like I'm rushing, but I actually am because my husband's coming back from a business trip in about 20, 30 minutes. And I'd really like to spend time with him versus trying to rush this video. You know, I'm trying to hurry it along and multitask. So anyway, Mel has this same bag, but I wanted a different color. I wanted it in... Hang on for one second. Okay, that was crazy. Um, I wanted it in a color of a bag that I had to need. Not, okay, I'm going to say need in my collection, but I don't need anything. Really nicely wrapped. And I feel bad because I haven't, you know, worn it since I've gotten it. But, <sighs> sorry if I'm rambling. It's a St. Laurent clutch and Mel in Melbourne has a organizer that she did with um, somebody I'm sure it's on her website and she gives you a coupon so you can make it into a crossbody with a chain Samorga it's Samorga and there we go but I wanted it because da, da, da. boom I already had a matchy matchy card holder so they're a little bit off but I'm okay with it for now. Mm. Okay. I might not be that okay with it. Okay. I thought the clutch was going to be as dark as that. Hmm. Well. We'll see. We'll see. I, you know what? I wonder is this going to be one of those things that's going to bother me? we'll see we'll see now this was definitely not for my birthday it's been a few months back but I figured I'd share it with you if I hadn't I think I put it on my Instagram stories but I'm not sure and you know all of that good stuff but it was the Fendace scarf which I think is beautiful I wanted the tote bag but Things didn't work out the way I wanted them to, and Fendace was an entire fiasco. So, right now, this is all I'm getting from that collection, and I'm happy with the scarf because I think it's beautiful, and that's what it is. Now, for something fun, if you think Renji didn't get something in all of this, or my husband, he did. He got a gravity-fed something-something smoker. So, technically, that's an us gift because once he smokes pork belly or whatever it is he's smoking I'm gonna eat so that's one thing and I got him a Louis Vuitton wallet to match his Louis Vuitton lanyard I will insert a picture if I can whenever he gets home so I probably won't edit it until tomorrow to get that picture in and for Renji other than every dog toy on the planet I got this I got this at Ross it was like three or four bucks and it is a silicone mold in Christmas shapes because I made him a goat milk puppy blueberry smoothie thing and it's basically a powdered goat milk water and fresh blueberries well mine were frozen and I made it into a um, I just put it in our blender and blended it up really well and then I put some blueberries in to the I have two put some blueberries down and then pour the liquid on top and then you know so hopefully in three or four hours he will have Christmas shaped treats they were out of the Halloween ones and I was so disappointed but you know it is what it is so there's that now what else have I been buying um oh okay you ever buy something and you kind of go oh, I wonder where I put that it was one of those moments I bought, I was in Louis Vuitton, this is months ago, and I found a mini pochette somewhere in this room, and I was like, oh, okay, and I was telling my friend Kim about it, and I was like, now you know you shop too dang much when you can't find stuff you bought or you forgot you bought something, so it is what it is, and please forgive me, because I want that Christmas animation one that says Ginza on it. I want it. I know it's overpriced, 
I know it's ridiculous and I know that there's a brand new one in the box somewhere in this room and I'm not using it I know I know these things I know so bear with me okay we'll get there so two more gifts and then we can wrap this up hang on my next gift is from my friend Jason he is so sweet he's probably one of the most thoughtful people that I know of he's very just oh I know you like this so I got it for you he's that kind of friend oh I know you you know oh yeah I know you want that so I just got it for you he is such a sweetheart and always gives the best cards let's see I have to keep my eye on that little stinker before my house is chewed up Oh, it's a very, very cute handwritten card, but I won't read it to you because it's personal. Oh, so sweet. Let's see. Well, before I open it, or as I open it, Jason, thank you. I appreciate it. I don't care what it is. I appreciate it. Ooh, I already know. It's candy, which is my favorite. So, thank you, my love. tell what it is so hang on for one second I hear my husband coming through the door so now that my husband has come home from his trip and we kissed on the lips and all that good stuff um let me get back to gifts and what I thought was chocolate is not I was thinking oh it's a box of small chocolate and it's not it is a very very beautiful butterfly ornament he knows that I love stuff like that my curio cabinet looks like I need everything because I do and then this which I also thought was chocolate okay and in my defense Jason I thought it was chocolate because I saw the back and I was like oh it's chocolate and because you know that I love chocolate but it is not so the second one is A very let's see. let's see let's see oh it is it's a very beautiful photo frame oh I'm gonna put a picture of um, Ringy in it that's so cute oh my god it's got little bones it's you know what it's meant to be I'm putting a picture of Ringy in it how nice thank you Jason thank you that is so cute. That is so cute. I love it. I love it. And while I was downstairs playing um, smoochy face with my other half, the mailman came by and brought me a box from Kara. My girl. Thank you in advance. I, oh, where's, let's see, where should I start to open it from? Mm. Give me a second, guys. I will work on this, and then I'll be right back with you. I might try to fast forward through this part, but if I can't figure that out in editing, my apologies. Oh, hell no. Oh. Oh my God, Kara! <laughs> oh my 
gosh. <laughs> Thank you. I am not reading that out loud, but <laughs> thank you. Oh my gosh, she got me a Soul Society pen. She knows I love bleach. An Ichigo Soul Reaper Pass. Oh my gosh. And if I could be reincarnated into any anime character for all of you anime lovers out there this is who I would be it is Kimpachi Zaraki <laughs> oh my gosh that is so cool thank you so much Kara thank you you know what's going on the wall that is so cool <laughs> I love it thank you so much and my final gift is from my Gucci SA and you know I don't know why I call her that because I actually consider her to be my actual friend and I'm one of those people for me to say that I'm not the type of person to be like oh I'm friends with everybody because I'm not so she went on her trip and she brought me back a pack of YSL matches you know it's funny how you don't think that luxury houses make certain home goods but it's like oh who knew Saint Laurent made matches but now we know so there was that and a Gucci gift she is the sweetest person and oh my god she just got a puppy and I'm like oh I want to trade Rinji for her puppy because she's so cute she's like a little mwah, mwah, puff ball she's adorable so anyway sorry I got distracted it's funny how you turn into a dog mom. No, it's funny how you realize you've turned into a dog mom once you realize you've turned into a dog mom. And from Gucci. Oh, it's upside down. It is a lovely Gucci water bottle. And I believe she said that says Lily right there. And then it says Gucci really small right there. But thank you, Lee, and the Olive Moana staff. You guys are awesome. That is so cool. So that is that. Oh, yeah. That's perfect, too. And it's going to go, you know what? I already have the perfect use for this, but I won't share. But yeah, I have a perfect use for it. And a really cute card from Gucci, the staff. Thank you so much. That is sweet. But yes, I I can say that I am so lucky. I, I really am. And I hope that... I hope that everybody who watches takes something from me. Even if it's just like when I say, quit being a dummy and just be a good human. You know, just take that. Just I hope that everybody learns something from somebody who you watch or consider entertainment or whatever. You know, I think you have to be careful what you absorb on the internet. And I hope you absorb, be a good person, be kind to somebody, and, you know, just do the right thing if you can and when you can, you know. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for the birthday gifts. I really appreciate them. Um, I love everything. Um, I can't wait to flex my poncho. You know, it'll be 9,000 degrees and I'm still going to rock it. So that's what we're at. That's where we're at. And oh, I wanted to show you the pen that comes with the poncho real quick. So the poncho itself comes with a pendant. And I think you can use it on a scarf or anything else as well, but it is beautiful. And I'm so glad I got it. And again, thank you, Tanya. I appreciate you. Um, whether you got me something for my birthday or not, 
whether you wished me a happy birthday or not, whether you wished me well or not, whether you just thought of me, I appreciate it. And I appreciate your time watching. Um, I hope you push that subscribe button. See, I remembered to say it this time. Um, what else? That's it. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry that I'm rusty as hell, but you know, hopefully I'll get back on board. And now I see these earrings jingling. Mm, I forgot to show you these two. These are the new, I think they're called the mini Louise Louis Vuitton earrings, but I really like these more than the big hoops that I have because the hoops, when I wear them, although they're okay, but they're not an all day thing. These I can wear all day and not even blink on them. So there's that. And hmm, I can't think of anything else. I had a really good lay on the sofa, watch the first 48, be a freaking hobo couch potato birthday. And that's all I could ask for. I didn't really want to do anything. And now that my husband's back from his trip, his business trip, we're going to go to dinner probably tomorrow night. But other than that, I really just want to lay on the sofa, watch anime and be a bum. And I'm off next week. So I have all week to do that. And I plan on binge watching, I think it's called the patient it's on Hulu it's about a serial killer or something like that and he has trapped his um, psychiatrist or something like that so that's it thanks again I appreciate you and hopefully you know I'll pull it together and be back soon so thanks again Aloha